Hi, in today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to add an article to a particular section in your website. This tutorial might be a little bit confusing, so I'm going to try to explain things as best as I can. Basically, what we're trying to do is add an article into a Joomla website under a particular category or section. Now, some websites, such as Posture Perfect, have a dedicated article section to their website. All we're trying to do here is add one particular page to a Joomla website that represents one particular article in that section. Posture Perfect is a website that's been developed with a custom feed that displays all the articles in a particular section of a website. Okay, this might be getting a little bit confusing. So what I've done is created a little diagram that might explain things a little bit better for you. So essentially what we're trying to do is create an article that falls under a particular section and that relates to a particular category under that section. This article is then fed through to a website which we have developed and we've basically written code to say that this part of the website essentially gets are all the articles from this particular category and this particular section and list them in chronological order the order of the articles can vary it can uh, depending on what settings we've set up or the settings that you specified to your developer um, and this this is pretty straightforward so essentially a website like posture perfect has an article has an article whenever it has an article added to it it dynamically adds it to the top at the top first article of the website and the bottom article gets funneled out. There are article sections in the website like over here and the latest article gets pushed in through the top of the website whereas the oldest article gets, gets pushed to the bottommost part of the website. So now let's look at how easy it is to add an article into a website. Let's log into the Posture Perfect backend, which is at postureperfect.com.au forward slash administrator, and enter our username and password details. And now let's navigate to Content Article Manager. And to create a new article, let's simply go click New. Now, once we're in here, the first thing I do is create a title and call this Formal Demo by Joe. I'll leave the alias blank. This is normally used to create dynamic um, URLs in the front end of your website. I'll leave this blank because Joomla automatically creates this for me. Then I create, I basically want to add this article to the new section of the website, which is pers in this in this website, the new section of the website is called Perfect Posture Articles. So when I drop down, I look for Perfect Posture Articles and select that particular section. I then look at the categories and it's already selected the only category which is perfect posture articles. Note that there might be a number of different categories here that um, that can be listed. Um, in this case, in on this website, there's only one category created. And then I'm going to proceed by entering some text which serves as my article. And obviously this is just some demo text I'm entering just to play around. After I've done this, I click the apply button 
and that successfully created the article. Now let's go back to the front end and refresh this page to see where our article has turned up. So there you have it. The latest article has been entered into the top half of the website, pushing down the older articles lower. Now you've noticed that the entire article has been listed over here. So I don't want this to happen. I just want a simple, a, a brief blurb about this article. And if people would like to read more about this article, to click something like a read more tab as listed here. So let's go back to our, our article in the back end and say separate out the first half of my article. I'm just creating some space between it. And then clicking in between my first intro blurb and the main article body and then clicking the article read more tool and inserting this we'll insert a tab between our blurb our intended blurb and the main article of the website now once I've done this this is what enables the read more tab that we just saw on the front end of the website over here So after doing that, I simply click the apply button. And swap back to the front end of the website where I can now refresh the page. And there you have it. It's created a read more about this article. So adding an article to your blog section of your website or your collection, um, an, an article collection on your website is quite easy to do. In most cases, we set up websites that, um, that require this function um, in particular, a particular way that a client might want it to display. So this website uses is dynamically list articles also on the front end of the website. So as you can see here, the latest article is listed in the top bit of the website right here. Note that you can also view articles in your article manager by simply selecting the section here and selecting the category and what this will do is list all the articles in that particular section of the website. You can delete or disable articles from this part of the website. Different websites use different forms of um, this tool here. For example, our website uses the same functionality in our logo design portfolio. Essentially, each logo design listed over here represents one separate page or one separate article. So if we click on the Test Labs logo, it basically brings up one separate article with one image in there. Here is another article that's represented in that particular collection. Over here in this website, our collection is called Logo Design Portfolio. Hence, we can correlate a number of different pages under one particular section of the website. And this can be pretty handy in your own website. We strongly advise that you ask your developer to set up correlations or collections of articles like like this and advise you of the different categories or sections that you need to be adding articles to so it will automatically and dynamically list them right here let's now log in to the content management system of our Joomla website so I log in using our username and password 
I navigate to the article manager on our website. I then create a new article. I call this article Backlink Blaster. This is the new a new logo that we've just created for a client. I then navigate to the section which is projects that we've just done which is projects and as a category I'm going to select logo design note that there's one other category which is web design projects but I'm going to I, I need to add this to the logo design so once I click that I proceed by uploading the portfolio piece and I click the upload button insert and there you have it that's our new and latest logo that we've just created for a client I now proceed by clicking the apply button and let's swap to the front end of our website and refresh this page to see how this looks and there you have it it's automatically created a front preview image to our website and when I click on that link it dynamically takes me to the logo on the website this works fantastically for our website and uses the sections and article type listing currently present in the Joomla framework I hope I have not confused you with this tutorial and it's very clear how to add a new article under a particular section in our website. This is Joseph from thirddesign.com. Thank you and goodbye.